Oh. How you doing? How you doing? Oh. It's, <laughs> it's none other than the man, the, the man. miracle, the myth, the legend. Oh, shit. Oh. Don't let me make a mess of my pants right here, man. <laughs> it's my show, aka What's my diggy in the studio. Yes. Real pleasure to have you with us. Finally, you bruv, doing, man. Brother? Finally, after yeah, all this, it, you know what I mean? <laughs> we had to fit you into our busy schedule, you know? Yeah, right? I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. <laughs> Now, you, obviously you spoke about your first single being in 99, bruv. Obviously you come a long way since then, done yeah. many a things since then. But to, you know, to some people that weren't familiar with how the scene was then compared to how it is now, could you just compare what it's like having, you know, you got a hot single in 99, you want to get it out there. Yeah. Compare that to what it's like. You got a hot single in two, uh, 2012 and you want to get it out oh, there. Now. Obviously, there's massive differences. So just touch on that briefly. Yeah, I mean, man. the main difference is obviously like now it's more of a digital thing than it was before. Uh, back then, you know, like the thing that was kind of now it's like CD is what is, you know, every, hardly anybody uses CD or what, mm. whatever. That's dying out. Yeah. Back then, it was tape that was dying out. You know what I mean? And CD was kind of still... Just making still, its way through. Yeah, yeah, still coming through. And then you had mini disc and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. Mini yeah, discs you know never really mean? made like, it to the big time. That like, was all the future that at one point. Right? <laughs> yeah, <shoot. laughs> at one point, that was the future. So, I, like, I, I think that, it, you know, in terms of, like, it being more of a physical thing, you could kind of see... Um, the demand, you know, a lot easier. It feels like you can see it a lot easier because people weren't getting it so easy, you know? Like, right. now you've got the internet. It's like, it's and it's almost, I think everybody knows it's got to the point where you're numb to it. Like, you mm. get a single, someone drops a single, and then it's hot for like three days or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. then the next week, it's like, oh, now they got to drop this or drop that to keep reminding you. Whereas before, because you didn't get it as much, you're... People were excited over imports. It might be like 10 copies yeah. of someone's single or someone's album coming to the country and you manage to get one. Get one now, them, yeah. that ain't, you yeah, know, yeah. even Everywhere. if you get like, oh, this exclusive track that's just for my mail out, you know, whatever, whatever. It's not even as exclusive as they mm. say it is because someone can upload it somewhere, you know. And it's out there, yeah. So it's a big difference in terms of that. And, and like, I, I think that in, in general, like the internet has changed a lot because... Um, people have the choice of whatever they want uh, um, you know it's quite easy now to, to get whatever you want like I'm saying mm -hmm. whereas before it wasn't and and so um, that's obviously going to change the mood and the, the kind of attitude people have towards music yeah. and um, I think you know the main thing is that uh, the same with how it was before and now is that you know you just, just got to put the work in and, and kind of adapt to how the you know how the industry's going you know you mm -hmm. got to turn it into a business it's still a business out there for quite a few people so you mm. just gotta you know yeah. kind of work on that and, and get it out it's not easy but you know once you really dedicate your your, your, your strategy uh, you know business plan yeah your business plan you, you can't really go wrong like as long as you kind of attack it in the right way like I'm still learning there's mm. a lot of things I'm still learning because for me it was just to rap I, don't, I wasn't really trying to be you know the next whoever like right, right. nah I was just doing it because it's like right I don't know where I'm gonna tomorrow I might die if I do can I say that I've done something I enjoyed yeah, that, or not that, that I, I wanted it. to do? Yeah. So that was the case for me. And then gradually, as you get older, you've got to learn to turn it into a business. So, you know, and everyone grows up differently, I think. I think quite a few people find it hard to, like, say, this is what I deserve for this or this is what you should be giving me for this and so and so. So, you know, some people need managers and, and agents and all of that. And um, luckily, in my case, I didn't really need, you know, like a full-time manager it would be like a, an acting manager or someone that's kind of, you know, slightly connected in the right. industry and whatnot. Um, and then move on from there, man. But, you know, like I, I think everybody knows what the change is, like how different it is from back then to now. Um, it's all about adapting to what we're doing, uh, how the situation is now and moving on from there. And so I love the attitude of all the new cats that are, are coming out. You know, like obviously yourself, the, um, you know, quarantine, um you know, bad, Rams of Bad Bones. He's been around for a minute, but still fresh out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of people, man. I don't want to go off reeling a bunch of names, like. But um, you mentioned me, man. That's I think enough, that man. the attitude that uh, a lot of you know the newer guys have is where we should be going. It's just about making the music and having fun with it, and and trying your best to get it out there and supporting each other in a way that's like, look, we're proud of each other. It doesn't right. mean that you have to keep continuously posting this of so and so or that of so and so. It's just like, look. We all love each other. <laughs> we love what we do. Uh, and you know what I mean? Like healthy competition, man. At the end of the day, that's what makes you, you get better. 
You know, no, so duh, people shouldn't hip-hop. be too scared. Yeah, that's hip hop, man. And we're yeah, losing duh. that. You know, even that, that name. Yeah, even the. Yeah, definitely. Like you know, it feels like. Um, it's almost not cool to to call that in hip hop anymore. Mm-hmm. You got to call it rap or real rap or right, world right. rap or you know, and uh, like so people don't even know that hip hop is a culture. Like it's you know a way of life for some people, whether they're breakers or graphers right. or you know whether they rap DJ or, or whatever, like uh, beatboxers, you know. Mm. And uh, it all comes under the banner of hip hop, man. And yeah. uh, as long as we start getting proud of that, I think. You know, we can make something happen again. Without a doubt, man. Mm. So definitely to the people who kind of, I feel like there's a lot of good rappers who, who might, you know, just through, just through, you know, maybe not by their <laughs> own faults, they kind of, they, they kind of think, think small, you know what I mean? And, and just think about, you know, the people around them and they might have, you know, a few people around them that are kind of gassing them up and kind of, get, you know, gets them a big head and whatnot. And they kind of lose sight of the fact that hip hop can actually be a, like a worldwide market. And there's so many yeah. markets like Europe and Australia yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. We lose so, that. Yeah. Definitely. So if you can just talk about the different experiences, different markets. And I know you've got uh, fans around the world, man. So if you yeah. can just touch on that. Um, I think it's just it boils down to like, you know, people kind of talking about like whatever you're producing whether you're a beat maker or rapper or whatever or you're a DJ doing mixtapes it's getting it out there you right. know like for me my um, the point where I was getting it out there from the beginning was just doing open mics me and Jargon used to used to hit all the open yeah. mics and that for me was the best way for me to find out if I'm good or not because yeah. I don't know yeah, any feedback. of these people and if they don't like it they can boo hmm. if they love it they can cheer yeah. if they're not Why sure they they can, yeah, yeah you know and that's it and then you keep carrying on with that and it, it develops mm. your voice and you know yeah, this yeah. lyric was good or they liked it when I said that all of that kind of stuff and then the next step for me getting out there was like linking with a label to put out the music right you know now people don't even have to link up with a label to put out you can mm. put it out Throw there, it out there yourself, yeah, yeah you know if you've got a little funding to do it physically I do that as well yeah, but like now you can go online and mm. you, you can do a lot of the stuff with all the band camp and mm, iTunes reverb and yeah whatnot, iTunes yeah. reverb nation and all of that and then um, the next step is just like really is promoting like hard promoting not feeling like oh boy you know if I keep pushing this people might think that oh, I'm feeling myself and it's like no one else is going to do it for you if you haven't got anyone doing it so you've got to really push yourself out there like you want to be out there and I think from then people kind of take you serious and they're like mm. right you can grow so for me it was like the first time I went to Oz it wasn't for like a lot of money but I felt like, <clears throat> sorry, for me to get out there three weeks, if I go out there and tear it up, mm. feature with the right, like treat it how it was here, exactly. you know, when I first started, feature with the right people, do all of this and that. And then gradually, and lucky for me, man, the, the, like, you know, it's about um, four or five of the, the groups or artists that I um, featured with ended up putting out the features mm. around the same sort of year. Oh, so nice. it was like people like, yo, my like, shit, oh, been busy. Yeah, 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 exactly like that. So that's how it grew and then gradually got a following from there and then it's the same but I think that we still need to touch on Europe like I, yeah. I go to Europe but I don't I don't really get to tour there as much as I want to right. and considering it's right next door mm. you know we should take advantage of that so you know Still got some growing to do. About Still got one. some growing to do, fam. <laughs> Still got some chest hairs that need popping up. Still, yeah, so you fam. spoke a little bit about that. You, you see, there's areas that you want to improve on and what that. Yeah. Uh, where would you Where would you see that? Is it more on? Uh, on I want to like the uh, networking side, or yeah, exactly the networking side. Uh, you know, like I said, man, I just wanted to rap, so yeah, I didn't I really know so I had much, to bro. be. Um, friends with this one mm. and chat to them and hey <laughs> yeah. and put on this smile here and there and I, so I'm not really good at all of that you know like the way I grew up was around people that were real mm. and whether they were real dodgy or real <laughs> they, cool they were real they were real though. you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah, so for me it's quite hard like it's you know it's real. I find that it's really hard um you know, for people that are a certain way, you know, like I know there's that mean, industry kind of way to talk to people yeah. and all of that. Yeah. And it's really hard to kind of um, to accept it when you know that it's just it's not real, for the yeah. sake of talking. It's yeah, not like, yeah, yeah, it's oh, so how talk. was everything today? Yeah. No, no, no. It's <laughs> like, yeah, you, boy, you know what? I chopped off my arm and did, oh, yeah, so that was good. Okay. So anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? There's that. that not even listening to the You response. see a lot of that, man. And, mm. and it's like, you really got to kind of bite your tongue and just... 
you know, keep the sort of reality or whatever in your head yeah. and be like, okay, that's how it is. Hey, yeah, so blah, yeah. Blah, 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 I'm going to smile as well. And I feel like it's like something I'm going to be nice to you because I might need you one day. That's kind all it is. That's, that really that's, you know, is that's, what it is, isn't it? Unfortunately, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's what they're in. The, that's what not just the music industry yeah. but it's like in a lot of entertainment that's what it's all about is keeping the connection because this person might get you to the next you never know you know mm. what I mean and that's why people are so quiet about whatever whatever in a public forum but then say quite a lot behind the scenes or mm. they, they'll say a lot to you in a public forum just for everyone else to think that everything's cool and you know right. vice versa like that yeah that's a good point that's the way of the game man but you know somehow some way um, everybody can get a chance to play you know what I mean so <laughs> you just got to adapt to it innit yeah that's it man that's it without a doubt alright so let's just give you a little chance to you know get your, get all the, the social networks out there and whatnot, and let Nom the people know what else is coming for the rest of 2012 obviously the album's the main focus yeah definitely man I'm gonna um, get that Maestrogen album out there hopefully um, it should be like just before the summer I'm hoping okay. uh, I want to get a single out just before then and um, but it's gonna uh, hopefully I can do some more videos anyway for yeah. um, the stuff of the what type of drug is my estrogen just Definitely. to let people know some visuals yeah, yeah the level I need some visuals on that um, you can hit me at my website mysdiggy.com that's www.mysdiggi.com uh, most of my stuff is mice diggy so YouTube mice diggy SoundCloud mice diggy and then uh, hit me on Twitter as Maestrogen. That's at M-Y-S-T-R-O-G-E-N. And soon I'm going to drop the whole Maestro thing. It's just going to be Maest Diggy. Because mm. uh, there's yeah. too much confusion out there. There's a lot of bubble He's gum. changing it up, yeah. Yeah, there's a few, you know, doo-doo staying mice out there, man. Uh, mm. Getting people confused. I don't even know. It's like when you, when you Google Maestro and then see... There's a, a yeah, well-known a, hip-hop yeah, artist called Maestro. Allow it, allow it. Do you not think, hmm, maybe <laughs> calling myself Maestro so yeah, I'm might be a bit Diggy. like... Copying, you know what I mean? So I, I'm going to make it a lot easier and just go with Mice Diggy. Yeah. Uh, I, I've had that for a while anyway, so without I don't think doubt. it's going to be too hard. It's been a little alias for a while anyway, without yeah, a doubt, man. Does that start off in Australia as well? Because it uh, sounds like a bit Mice Diggy. No, no, no. No, mate. You know what? Mice Diggy from down under. Oh, I sort of oh, like, mate. bro, but you know, I was having a Darry on the Danny. And I realised. <laughs> Yo, shout out to DD Armstrong, man. Shout out to DD Armstrong. He's locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out. <laughs> All right, we're going to take another short, short break we're gonna get into some of the best biggie tracks that myself and bonesy have been loving throughout our hip-hop careers we also have my stiggy gonna oh. be blessing a little fresh now <laughs> on a biggie beat as well so don't go anywhere we are Bang Radio. 